process here so I can consult with the city attorney on how we can go forward with this. That's a bad idea. I want to talk to Shane about it. He might be in charge. Of taking a recess, sir. I'd say um, I'd take a look at Shane's conduct and, and, and take a look at maybe what some of your law books, policies, procedures say. I've I'd like to uh, reconvene the city council. We're going to go to the John list. And they're not going to like it. So you're just being detained for right now, buddy. Yeah. Mm, they're trying to keep low pro. Make sure Nick Madison doesn't come around. Make a big deal out of nothing. Oh. Interrogation. See how well they do. Oh. I'm okay. I know you need me to. I'm okay on a public easement. I'm not gonna leave my friend sitting unsafe there. No, because that's private property. I just figured it better be good on public property. Oh. Well, oh, sorry. Pay attention to what you're doing. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, let me get in a better spot for you, cause you got. You guys got. You guys are good. I'm, like, really great. He's got his hands in the drawn position. It's like. I'm no harm to you guys. Just so you're aware. He's got his hand on his gun. It's crazy. It's like, why? Right on time, fellas. Yeah, what is he for? Twin Falls Greatest. There's an asshole on site. Everybody fucking remain calm. Oh, it's Clifford. Hey, Clifford. How are you, buddy? We're famous, you and me. You and I are famous. Yeah, our YouTube channel blew up, buddy. I know it was our video. In our interaction, man. It was great. Can I give you a high five? Dude, fucking great job, man. Yeah, I was I was just passing by and you know it's officer safety, civilian safety. Dude, fucking us, man, we, we over a thousand views, man. Oh no. Like, way. yeah, dude, good for you. That's good. But yeah, I was just kinda just making sure everybody's hunky dory. I know it sounds weird, but I didn't mean to upset the officers. Oh, okay. But I figured it would be better staying on public property than private. Yeah, definitely. Dude, people have said we had a good conversation, man. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. That's awesome, man. How are you feeling after, like, you're healing from, I know, like, last time we spoke, you had gotten to a tussle. Oh, yeah. No, I'm doing good. Good. Good for you, man. Yeah, yeah I was like, uh, you and I had a great interaction last time, and I can honestly, like, go back and attest to it, and people have approved. And, um, yeah, I wanted to see how it would go without maybe somebody I knew, and I don't think these guys know exactly what I'm about, but oh, yeah. I'm no harm tonight. Cool, man. So how's life been? What's up with Clifford? Oh, not much. Just working, hang out. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. Like, you guys you guys would probably feel a lot better if you didn't have to work so much. Because I know you guys have, like, a 12-hour rotation, don't you? Mm -hmm. And it's a taxing job. Okay. Interns over at the hospital do that kind of stuff. Like, oh, yeah. four, four 12s or something crazy like that. 
and it's like you know malpractice could occur yep, yep. and it's like i bet you if they had a better scheduling folks they could probably get you guys some some time off and i bet everybody would be kind of less on edge because i mean after we talked did you feel like some of your stops might have been better after we talked or maybe i want to know if i'm being effective is all um yeah possibly that's good not to pigeonhole you but i'm just curious if it's like every stop that you've had since we've talked has been pretty nonchalant it's just a regular routine traffic stop i'm sure every once in a while you might get a little um felon felonious activity or a misdemeanor occurring yeah. especially domestic violence that shit's yeah. awful and it oh, needs yeah. to not happen but like kids and stuff like that you know you know illegal turn signals and things like that it's probably been less mm. suspicious of them trying to attack you i hope oh, yeah. that's good man i hope you just saw you. our conversation was worthwhile because i do talk a lot because i was just it's just such a very fascinating topic what you do and you have to be careful because you should be liable for for things but any anything you want to say fucking mr fucking famous clifford man dan right just hanging out trying to stay warm do you go by dan or daniel either way oh cool well dan you're you're you've got nothing but great reviews and things like that man so that's, that's fascinating but uh you're here for officer officer safety yeah, these guys have all got some of their... Yeah, around, that's so. why they called you though specifically, right? Yeah. Cool. Were they like some assholes here? <laughs> Dude, that's cool. But well, I'm curious, like, um, after you and I speaking, like, hopefully they can see that we're having a cordial conversation. Do you think that the conversation you have afterwards with them won't be more like, yeah, he's just a wannabe cop guy. No, he's just some dude who's interested in police... Uh, not necessarily police accountability, but accountability overall. So, but yeah, dude, it's, um, it's been a pretty interesting night. I went over to the hospital to see if the sheriff's department's moonlighting. Because oh, really? I think that they, they pick up hours over there and, um, that can be really troublesome for them too if they're overworked. The jail's not an easy job. Yeah, that's for sure. And then going to work 12 hours and then going off and working two or even four hours over at the hospital, you just get cranky so yeah man um what's uh what's the most exciting thing that's happened to you in the last six months oh, man. I don't know. I'd have to, like, you gotta think go, about that yeah, yeah I'd have to go through your calls for service oh no not even that man what's been good with you personally did oh. you go like somewhere exciting for vacation no. or anything no you kind of hanging out doing the thing yeah is officer you out tonight uh no oh good that I won't be arrested sure. tonight. <laughs> Maybe they put him on AM duty, but who's the sergeant on duty? Hendrickson? Uh, oh, Apple. Okay. Applewood and I have spoke before. Yeah. He, he doesn't really agree with anything I say, but that might just be because, you know, that was six months ago. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, man, I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just so stoked that you're here. <laughs> like, it's just what a coincidence. Yeah. I was like, should I, should I, like, had a number, like, a call list. I know I shouldn't say this, but, like, in the dumpster of the Twin Falls City, this is why I kind of do all this, they had public records just dumped in the dumpster. And on that, in that dumpster was a list of all the police officers, you know, mailboxes, phone numbers, personal phone numbers, office phone numbers, first names, last names, badge numbers, just for any old Charlie, Dick and Daniel, Nick Madison asshole to pick up. And how safe is that? You know, and I could have called you and just said, hey, Daniel, guess what? We're famous. But I was like, I trashed that list long ago. Um, but, dude, like, you think I'm not here to cause havoc or worry you, you guys need to worry about your officer safety through me? Like, they're dumping your guys' private personal information in the dumpster. Like, it's not, man. And customers checking account, account numbers, routing numbers, just, like, attached to, like, a chunk of their their check like mm -hmm. the city just rips it up and then tosses it in the dumpster like when you're done paying your water bill like what is that so that's why i'm kind of interested in what everybody does you go um packing down in the canyon i haven't no that's one thing i think a lot of people miss out on and if they do it they'd probably be like more of a fan 
just because it's like it's amazing. Once you leave Twin Falls, you don't see the canyon, or the um, you know, the bridge, the the freaking whatever, the prime canyon, Snake River Canyon. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just like, don't even know. Yeah, thanks for giving me time to sort that one out. But it's uh, you don't do any rock climbing over at the um, yeah. the stone. What's the new climbing gym? It's a uh, river stone or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. It's on the stone. Yeah. Gosh, I just like you go to the gym across the caddy corner from the police department, though, right? Yeah. You freaking look like you gained a little weight, actually. <laughs> like it must be the beard, or you must be eating a lot more protein. Yeah, it's putting on my winter weight, I guess. Yeah, dude, right. Well, we're going to have another join us, looks like, but as, uh, what's, um, how many arrests do you get? Um, how many stops do you make in a night? Um, I got to interview the famous fucking Campbell. <laughs> I think it just depends on the night, how busy we are with calls for service. I, I try to get at least, as far as the actual traffic stops, I try yep. to get at least five or six. Okay. Um, that obviously depends on the calls for service, how busy we are and stuff. Yeah, I'm sh I've seen the list of like service calls you guys can get. It's like categorically you have to go from a broad to a macro um, disposition. Um, yeah. And it's, there's a lot. The sheriff's department has got a pretty detailed one as well. Oh, yeah. But Twin Falls has been pretty, pretty freaking uh, low key. Like we had one possible attempted murder case right now with Cedric Mitchell. And then even two years ago with Jose something or another, he's in county right now. All right, one traffic stop down and I'll, uh, time to go on to the next.
but as far as citizen on citizen crime, it seems like we're we're doing okay. Officer related shootings, I freaking hope we haven't hit anywhere near the single digit even. Yeah. Um, do you do you know of any um, involved shootings where a police officer has shot a civilian this year? This year, no. Oh, good. Well, I hope you, you just stay in, in, uninformed because I hope that usually means that's. I'm sure it's on a whiteboard somewhere. Yeah. You know, like they got a big old zero. You know, it's. I'm so curious as to what your guys's tactical room is. I guess you'd call it your planning room. What do you guys call it? Uh, briefing room. It's like yeah, briefing. It's like operations room or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yep. Are you on SWAT? Oh, I didn't see your picture on there, but there's a bunch of beards. You'd fit in well. <laughs> Are you interested in joining that? Uh, maybe eventually. Try to play with guns. Yeah. And, and to, I don't think anybody wants to be in a more intense situation, but but the guns are pretty cool. I'm sure you get to play with explosives, too. Yeah, I think they probably do. They have silencers as well. Like, they had three. They bought three of them, I think. Um, and they're $12,000 for... All three of them, I think. That's all. It's really expensive. Sorry, I'm fun. Hopefully, I'm talking to you about stuff that's <coughs> fascinating at least, because <laughs> these are the questions I don't get to ask. So it's great. How's uh, Cunningham doing? Is he doing well as an officer? Yeah. Good. Yeah. He seems like a good kid. Yeah, I think he's enjoying it. That's good. That's really good. He has a good heart, I think. He was gonna let me. He was gonna give me a ride from the hospital to the police or to where they arrested me at the park. You guys are not taking me back to where I need to go, right? I have to walk from St. Luke's by Walmart to downtown to go retrieve my bike, which you guys had taken me. Do you have any questions about the citation tonight? No, I got tons of questions, but you guys won't be able to. But you guys won't take me anywhere. Hey, Cunningham. Thanks, brother. Three ninety-two. Three ninety-eight. Three ninety-eight. Okay. Taking all five years out eventually, buddy. Oh, wow. And then it e was three and a half miles, you know. And it was like eleven thirty at night. And then Egan was just like, "No, don't do it." It's just like, because he was the training officer. Oh, yeah. I was like, "What a dick!" Like Cunningham was cool with it. And then Officer Egan to the rescue. So, do you um do you have to stand next to me through this whole encounter? Oh, cool. Well, thank you for chilling, man. It's like, stretch your legs a bit, bro. This is one of those good encounters, you know? It's like, finally, I get to post one that's just not... Yeah, isn't it exciting, though, to... Because to, you, you kind of go into a huddle after a traffic stop and kind of discuss what happens. And it's good because you get to learn something. There you go. It's like no fist bump at least. It's like you guys just arrest me, not arrest me, detain me, pulled me out, searched my car. The least you could do is give me a fist bump. That's my perspective. But he might have been hostile because of his tonality and voice. It seems to be elevated. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Because you never know. You, you don't know in that situation. Any other situation, if it's like a cordial stop, but his elevated voice, I would have probably been hesitant as well. Cool, man. Well, thanks for going over a traffic stop with me. That's cool. Like, I know I'm obnoxious, but that's just because I can't. I got a compulsion to talk. <sighs> mm. yeah. well, maybe they want to chat, but. Cool. Good stop, guys. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Good stop. Oh, uh, I'm going to take off, Nick. Hey, take care, brother. Hey, Nick, I don't mean to yell at you. Oh, no. You're, you're, is your name how? I'm so sorry. What was your name? Officer? I'm Officer Beish. Beish. Dude, Beish, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, I don't mean to yell at you. Oh, you're I, good, brother. I got to focus on these guys, and then when you come right here, I can't, I can't see you. That's right? why I moved, man, yeah. and then I kind of... That, that's why I quit yelling at you, because you moved to a spot where I can see it. I got gotcha. you. I'm, I, um, I don't know if you know this, I use these earphones when I'm in court for my hearings. Yeah. So I'm a little hard of hearing sometimes. That's why I was yelling, right? 
right? I know, right? And that's when I finally heard you. I started to creep yeah. in the area where you guys can see. That, uh, if I ask you to move a little bit, it's, it's only because I, I need to see you. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. Thank absolutely. You, Beige. Thanks, right. guys. It's a great job. It. Great job again. Freaking. That's awesome. Hey, everybody. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right. Good job, everybody.